Hi, I want to share an idea for the brushless conversion of the VPL12, which is using Outrunner motor 3 Euro 1, and you will still be able to use the stock receiver and transmitter. It's a sort of a direct drive. The video is divided like this. In the first part, we will see what is the equivalent KV of the gearbox, so you can compare with the KV of a brushless motor. We will see how to install the motor inside the car frame, then how to convert the original receiver and transmitter in order to work with the standard speed controller. Then we will try to use a 3 euro bidirectional ESC for the conversion. And finally, we will mount the real car ESC that is now mounted on the vehicle. And of course, a test run. Let's start by analyzing and comparing the original gearbox. The equivalent gearbox plus motor KV, it is 350. So, if you take a 1000 KV brushless motor, you will be three times faster, for instance. Now let's cut this part of the frame and let's clean everything with a cutter in order to have a flat surface. The cardan on the gearbox has a 3 mm shaft. So, if you take a 3 mm or 3.17 mm brushless motor, it should be okay. I use the brushless motor mount in order to sign where to put the screws. Placing the motor screws is the most difficult part in the project, in my opinion. About the motor, I tested first a 1400 kV, but the speed was too high, in my opinion, and the car was cogging, so I switched to an 935 kV, which much lower cogging and speed still three times higher than the original kV. Now let's modify the receiver in order to attach a standard speed controller. The throttle PPM signal is in this white connector with four pins, so you need to remove the housing. Then you cut only the fourth pins because it's a duplicated of a servo signal. And you straight up the four pins uh, upward and you make it a little shorter because they are too long. You have to remove the central wire from the ESC, otherwise the 5 volt of the ESC will be in conflict with the 5 volt of the receiver. Let's connect now the ESC plug into the receiver. The minus is external. Let's solder the ESC power wires directly to the receiver, so you will be able also to use the VPL12 power switch. The first tentative is a super cheap 3 euro bidirectional ESC, but I don't recommend this. I just wanted to try the most cheap combination. Then I changed also the ESC with a dedicated one for car. You can remove the fan because the current we will consume is very low. I placed here the ESC with two heatsink fan inserted on the frame. You need to fasten only the wires, because the ESC is remaining in place just because of the mechanical position. This time I removed the central pin of the receiver, the 5V pin, instead of removing the central pin on the ESC plug. This time, instead of soldering directly the ESC wires, I will solder a female T-plug, so I can keep the ESC with the original plug. I attach the speed controller switch here, just because you need the push button for programming. 
unluckily the throttle signal is reversed and there is no way to reverse it both in the spear controller or in the transmitter so I had to open the transmitter and invert the potentiometer wire for the throttle you cannot simply invert two motor wires because the, the brake is only working in one direction and then you have less speed on the reverse you have to swap the two wires on the potentiometer sorry if my hand are in front of the camera and they are the two opposite on the throttle potentiometer and now the real test the car is super goofy and it has also very strong torque so it can run in the grass for instance it can also run at very low speed or at least decent low speed and the efficiency without the gearbox and with the brushless motor is much higher so if you run at the same speed of the original one your battery will last much longer That's it, thanks for watching.